Hi there, this is Bon Crowder with Math4.com talking about the book What's Your Angle Pythagoras by Julie Ellis. This is a fun little children's book. They portray Pythagoras as a young child who's kind of precocious, kind of getting into stuff, and he discovers three problems at home and then goes away to Crete with his father and there discovers some solutions to it using right triangles and what we know as the Pythagorean theorem. The neat thing is that young Pythagoras learns about this, this rope thingy that he makes one for himself. Uh, one of the characters in the book teaches him about it and it has knots. It has nine knots in it so that the distances here are all the same between the knots and there's one, two, three, four distant links in between there, and then three there, and then of course five there, and that makes a right angle. And so that's how he solves all the problems back at home. So I'm going to talk about how you can make your own little Pythagorean knot rope thingy. So I made one, and mine is here. Fun little thing. And here's a picture of it stretched out as a right triangle. And here is how you make one. First, you need to get a nail, a couple of nails, and a hammer and a board, and then take them outside. I found this is the best way to do it. Take it outside, turn the board upside down, and nail the nails in at a pretty okay distance. I did a couple of inches. And then you tie, use that as your distances to tie your knots. Okay, so once you have your nails in your board, here's mine. Find yourself a length of rope or ribbon or string or something. Dental floss is probably not going to work because your knots, are, your knots won't show up as well. You need it to be 12, this, 12 times this distance plus some because if you're right at the end, it's kind of annoying. Mine was, and it was very annoying. So tie your knot, and you can see what's gonna happen. I'll just tell you one of the tricks that I learned. After you tie a knot, so they're nice and tight like so, instead of lifting them both off, lift one off and then spin it around to tie the other one. And then you just keep going around. Obviously, you want to try to avoid what I just did. So, pull that through and tie and then lift and spin and keep doing it like that. And after you're finished, you will have your own fully knotted Pythagorean knot rope thingamajiggy. And this is all from this book. What's your angle, Pythagoras? So, I'm Bon Crowder with Math4.com, reminding you that math is not a four-letter word.